Hello everyone, welcome to my college dorm room build. So today I'm going to do an apartment renovation with the college dorm room theme. So what that means is the floor plan is going to be two bedrooms with two people living in each bedroom, a shared bathroom space for all four people, a laundry room, a kitchen, and a living area. This is very based on my own undergraduate college experience where each hall, so like each floor of the building, would have a shared laundry space, kitchen, and lounge area, not necessarily just for people. So this is mostly based on my college experience. When I did move in, there was already a desk, chair, bed frame, dresser drawers, all already in the room. And that was kind of cool, so obviously we didn't have to bring all that stuff in. And so what you really focus on when you move in is decorating, of course, and I think that's what everyone gets most excited for when it comes to college. So for my first set of roommates, I decided that they were the typical college type, very excited about decorating their rooms. They Maybe they got to know each other over a website or an app that matched roommates at a certain school together. And then they connected and they chose a color scheme to base their room off of when they finally moved in. So you might be able to notice they went with the blue color scheme. So there's the blue mirror, the blue rug, and of course their blue bed sheets. So right now I'm choosing clutter items that are most reflective of each person's personality. So I'm just adding some shelves here and I'm going to be putting some clutter items up there because I really like a cluttered look. So I imagine the person on the left, so with the white blue bed sheet, that they are more of a creative type. So I took out the open journal that we got with the latest upgrade, some makeup, some nail polish, things like that. I thought creatively they might be a writer, maybe an artist, a musician. I just thought that whatever it was, they would be creative. And so I included, I think later on I include some headphones. They love plants, decorations. While the other roommate I imagine to be more studious, more organized, I think that they're here on an athletic scholarship and therefore they're working really hard to maintain their grades. I also think that they are interested in a STEM field, maybe like physics or astronomy. I include a picture later of the galaxy on this roommate side of the room and so I think that maybe that she's really interested in space, maybe she even wants to be an astronaut someday. I also imagine that this roommate might also be from a small town, so this is their first time in the city. And so I imagine the snow globe is maybe reminiscent of their hometown, maybe it's of their hometown, so I chose one of the other towns in The Sims world. And so I thought that that was cool to include. Now I'm just adjusting the clutter items on the shelves here. I included little decorations like the globe and the little treasure bots I imagine to be a jewelry bots, as well as practical items like the hair dryer and the laundry detergent. Just imagining that, you know, there's not a lot of space when you're in these college dorm rooms and so you kind of just utilize everything you have, such as the towels on the desk there in the little basket. As far as artwork for this roommate, I decided to go with just two little nice paintings that you'll see me choose here. Uh, the frames kind of match and I thought that it fit well with the scheme, the color scheme of the furniture and things like that. Later on I'll also be including the lights with like the hanging pictures and things like that. And now I'm just working on the curtains. I actually used curtains on all the windows, which the windows did give me a lot of problems during this build. When I was making the floor plan, it was actually really difficult because there's so many open windows. And so one, I didn't want to put a bathroom in front of the windows because that's just weird. And then two, I really wanted it to be just like how my college dorm room was. So there was a bedroom, a bathroom, and then that was connected to the other bedroom. And obviously, I couldn't really go with that just because if I did do that, it would intersect some of the windows, and all these windows are three pane windows. And so I didn't want to just put a wall there and make it really weird. So I had to go with the floor plan that I went with, which was this one. And I still like it a lot. Like, I like that all the common areas are in the same corner of the apartment, and then the bedrooms are like in the other corner. And the hallway is kind of reflective of what the hallway was like when I was walking to my dorm room. So I am really happy about that. And so now I'm just finishing up the room. Like I said, I placed all the clutter items. I'm adding in some headphones here. Of course, every desk has a laptop because I think that's just really essential to the college experience. I've never seen someone without a laptop in class and things like that. And so I just thought everyone needed to have a laptop. 
And I also liked these succulents that are hanging from the shelf right here. I thought that that was really cute. I was really happy that I kind of made that work because I didn't know if that would really look good together. And then once I moved it up, I was like, oh wow, this fits perfectly, perfect color, everything like that. Finally, I'm just adding in a bookshelf because of course, you're gonna be required to order so many books while in college. And so of course you'll need some place to store them. And kind of staying true to the roommate that's more athletic, I put a fruit bowl because I thought that maybe she would be really eating healthy these days, especially training before a big match or something like that, whatever. Like I said, whatever her sport is, I don't really know, haven't decided too much on that. And now I'm moving on to the next room. So I'm really excited about this room because I thought this is more realistic to what some people might experience with their college roommates. This roommate that I'm decorating for right now, I imagine she went on Pinterest and like Instagram before she moved in and she found the perfect decoration she wanted, everything's going to be color coordinated, she's really excited to put up all her decorations, so that's what I'm kind of doing right now. I actually did find something like this on Pinterest, it's a flower wall with like a mirror in the middle of it and I was thinking really hard of like how I wanted to accomplish this. All the flowers I initially wanted to use, like a rose, things like that, that are more maybe aesthetic, they're actually seasonal though, and I couldn't get them to be vertical, so I couldn't get them, they all lay like horizontal, and so it just wouldn't have worked with my vision of this wall right here, and so these sunflowers actually worked perfectly. They're not seasonal, they can be resized, they can easily be placed and shifted up on the wall, and I actually thought it looks so cute. I thought it was perfect for what I was going for, and I absolutely loved it. So this has to be my favorite part of the build. I thought it was really cute, and I'm just so happy with the way it turned out. It was a lot of work to have to resize each one and then shift it up, but I think it's definitely worth it in the end. And like I said, she is very focused on you know, that Instagram perfect room or that Pinterest perfect room, and so everything's color coordinated, very pink and whites and blacks. Um, of course, besides the desk, like I said, I wanted to keep it true to uniform among all the bedrooms and things like that, and so that's why those might not fit perfectly with her theme here. So I added in, like I said, laptops once again. I decided the TV might be something she had brought. I decided that her roommate on the other hand, now let's talk about them for a minute. They have this little speaker here, I thought they might be really into music. I decided to choose gray because maybe they thought this is such a temporary living situation. Why even bother, you know, getting really fancy with the decorations? Literally the opposite of their roommate. And so I thought that this was a really fun dynamic for people to share a room together. So I thought maybe they might be more messy, they don't really care what their room looks like, they're literally here just to live and get through college. So like I said, it was really fun playing with this contrast between the roommates. I thought a lot about how, if any actually, of their decorations were going to match at all. And I decided, no, like, to keep it totally separate and independent of one another. And so you'll see that that rings very true with all the decorations in the room. And so I would say that even majority, if not all the decorations, are brought to by the roommate that wants an Instagram perfect room. So I thought something that was really cool with the shelves in this room, I wanted it to be different because when I was in college, everyone took the furniture that was given and they organized it in their rooms their own way. And so I thought that that was a really cool concept to try and utilize as well. So I wanted to do two completely different room setups with the furniture and that's why I went with this more open layout in this room. And so I took the shelves and I actually put it right above the beds and so it's like a little headrest. I think I've seen these in a few speed builds and I just thought that that was a really cool way to incorporate decorations above the bed. Overall, I just wanted to keep this room pretty simple with the clutter items. I didn't want to reuse a lot of the clutter items that I had used in the previous room, which I did use a lot of that kind of fit the college theme. And just as a side note, I didn't stick with just base game for this build. Um, maybe if this is something that I might continue with in the future, I might consider just doing base game builds. But I, I really like utilizing all the different you know, artwork, clutter items, things like that. And so I just didn't really consider that too much in this build specifically. Moving forward, I just decided, like I said, I'm adding little plants, little details here and there, but not too much clutter. 
And so overall, I just really enjoyed how this room turned out. Oh yeah, and I thought it was really cute to size down this doll, uh, just as a little knit net because I did enjoy having little knickknacks when I was in college and they just reminded me of, you know, home or friends or whoever had given it to me or a moment, event, whatever it was. And so finally I'm just adding this last piece of artwork. Like I said, matches perfectly with the Instagram roommate. And so she probably brought that along with the curtains that match perfectly. And that's it for that room. So moving on to the shared facilities. Starting with the kitchen, I didn't want to go too crazy with any of this shared stuff because it was actually really simple when I lived in the dorms. They didn't have anything too crazy. It was just a typical setup of a sink, an oven. They even didn't have a fridge out in the common areas, but The Sims doesn't have mini fridges and I've seen people size them down and they do look really cute. So I just left the fridge out here because the rooms are already pretty crowded anyways. So even though I had a fridge and a microwave in my college room, I decided to, you know, this will be one exception that I'll kind of make to not stay true to how it really was when I was in college. And this right here is a perfect example of what I mean by the windows just constantly kept getting in the way of this build. You can see the cabinets up at the top had to unfortunately intersect with the windows a little bit, which I really don't like when I build, but I just had to kind of deal with it because that was how the floor plan worked out and obviously if I moved it over to that area where I'll be putting the living space it just wouldn't work out because then it would be blocking all the windows because there's only windows on that side so again it was a little bit of a struggle just because of the windows and the floor plan and all that but now I'm just adding some stuff in the kitchen I added that rack where you can put your coffee cups um, some stuff over the fridge and I'm just gonna add a little table area where people can eat their meals I thought that this is very common in a college dorm room, especially on my hall we actually had a big space where you can actually study and it was a quiet room and so that was kind of a nice area to get away but I couldn't exactly fit a whole quiet room in this space unless I took out the living room area so I decided that just a table by the kitchen would be kind of equivalent to that. For the living room I put a nice TV some matching furniture. I imagine that maybe they just bought like a matching set from Ikea. You'll see all the chairs, the couch, the coffee table, they all match. And this is very true to how my college dorm room was. All the furniture matched. It was all nice. But I just imagine maybe they got it from Ikea, which nothing wrong with that. Ikea is great. I put some plants on the coffee table and a little bit of clutter like remote and magazine. But overall, this little lounge area was kept pretty clean so I didn't want to put too many clutter things. This isn't necessarily like their apartment, like I said it's a shared space. And so I put a lamp, speaker, all that fun stuff. Moving on, by the way the lights, I wanted to get a little bit creative with the bedroom lights just because when I moved into my college room there were no lights at all. So you can imagine the first couple nights we were you know, live in a little bit in darkness and so I just thought that that was funny. So I put different kind of lights in each room, like how one has the lamps on the desk as well as the pictures on the wall versus the other room has a little bit more lighting, like the big floor lamp and things like that. I also thought a nice addition were these cork boards outside of each room. We didn't necessarily have cork boards, but we had like whiteboards outside of our dorm rooms. And so it's just a way of like leaving cute notes or you know sometimes we'll be letters taped on the whiteboards. Just ways for our RAs or resident assistants to leave like messages or you know if we had a meeting that week or something like that. Just a way to communicate. I just thought that that might be what the family bulletin board was. So even though it is like a family board, I thought it might be still relevant in the college aspect. You can maybe play around with that being a little bit different if you actually do gameplay with this build. Finally, I'm just adding in some decorations in the laundry room. I actually noticed that there is some clipping with the laundry basket and the detergent on the counter there, so I'll probably change that before I upload this into the library. Um, but moving on, I just put a postcard on that cork board and a calendar on the other one. I wish we could put actual posters on them because that would be really nice instead of being so limited to postcards and calendars. And I don't show too much of the bathroom build right here because it's nothing too special. I'll just show the screenshots later on and, you know, nothing too fancy though when it comes to that. It's just a typical bathroom just like how my college dorm was, you know, a sink 
a toilet and a shower and even then it was like very very small you can't even really put anything else in there so this little closet area that I put in there isn't really true to what my experience was but that's okay so just added some simple clutter like the toothbrush holder the soap dispenser you know the shower little nook thing but my bathroom in college actually didn't have any crazy like decorations or anything it actually only was decorated really by the shower curtain and a trash can and so I didn't go too crazy with those decorations and finally I'm just decorating this little hall here I thought it'd be cute to put a little seating area um, you know plants a painting just making it look really nice in case people were to walk in I imagine that this is like the initial area where you walk into a dorm room there's always like kind of a base floor where there might be like a little shopping area things like that and it always looks really nice people just tend to hang out there and so while I couldn't do like a full replication of that lounge I just wanted to put a little area like that and so I put these magazines out on the counter here just to like I don't know, I felt like on campus there was always lots of flyers, people telling you to join clubs, things like that. And so you'll actually see I include this bulletin board with like tons of flyers because I feel like that's very true to how campus life was. Um, other than that, I think I just put, yep, some mail here. And I think that's really it for this build. I hope you guys like the screenshots. Oh yeah, curtains of course, like I said, I finally put curtains on all the windows. But other than that, just, you know, some little trash cans here and there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the screenshot. If you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.